week, okay? Imagine, imagine treating Monday like it was January the 1st, okay? Imagine training your mind that every Monday became a brand new year for you. So you're no longer, think about it, when the, when the new year comes, you're no longer holding on to, to things that didn't serve you. It's like you just have a new slate, a new lease on life, okay? Imagine treating Monday like that was the case, all right? So first of all, y'all, I'm excited. I'm excited. So many things are coming. We are four days away from the awakening. Many of you all already know that when it's time for the awakening, I have so many experiences. I go through so much in preparation for this event that, man, you guys have no idea the things that I get to be blessed with experiencing. Just the, the revelations, the, the, the ideas, the creativity, just the joy, and even the stress that comes over me because I'm oftentimes truly feeling the energy of the women that's going to be there. I start to feel early. Uh, some of the pain, you know, I literally see things like it's crazy. I, I go in the living rooms and I see the arguments with the husbands and the children and I see all of these things. But it's a beautiful thing because, you know, heavy is the head that wears the crown. OK, as I am preparing for uh, the awakening, I get to have my own awakening. And I'm really grateful because I feel woke. You know, I feel woke. I feel very conscious. I feel very aware and, you know, for the last few days, I just been really just excited, like resting and getting my mind ready because we're going hard every day. Thursday, we start our Money Moves meeting. For those of you that's looking for an opportunity or you have an opportunity and you need more money, more clients, more connections, understand that collaboration is the new currency. Collaborate correctly and your life can change. Collaborations is the new currency, Okay. You need to start thinking collaboration over competition. How do I collaborate correctly so that I can increase my clientele, so that I can increase my connectivity? Your mind should be on collaboration. There was a point in time where we used to be scared to collaborate. But listen, if you collaborate correctly, your whole life will change, okay? Now, I'm really excited because I am holding in my hand my new lip gloss collection that's long overdue. Many of you all who've been following me for years, y'all know that I am a lip gloss connoisseur. I will stop at every lip gloss counter and buy the same color 10 times, okay? Because I like to stay looking youthful, okay? As you age, ladies, let me tell you, as you age, your neck, your eyes, and your lips age. Let me repeat, as you age, ladies, your neck, your eyes, and your lips age, okay? And you can tell a person's age by their neck, their lips, their eyes, and their hands, all right? And so I came up with a... Uh, lip gloss line to awaken your youthful feminine energy so you don't have to feel like you aging nothing hurts a woman's feelings and i can't speak for men uh, but nothing hurts a woman's feelings more than looking in the mirror and saying oh my god i look old and some of y'all know what i'm talking about and if you don't know what i'm talking about just wait keep aging okay you're gonna look yourself in the mirror one day and you're gonna realize that you know what i am not a little girl no more okay and that mirror tells no lies so i came out with a a skincare line and a lip gloss line to awaken your youthful feminine energy. Okay, it's called Perfect Storm Collection. And um, right now, guys, it's going to be lip glosses, a whole skincare line. Uh, we have five products for our skincare line. We got exfoliants. We got AM serum, PM serum, baby face, fresh face. Um, all of these amazing uh, uh, rose rejuvenation spray so that you can continue to look young. You know, I get compliments all the time on... Wow, you do not look 42, you look 24. And so the goal is to stay forever young, okay? So all my grown ladies that's in their 40s, y'all know what I'm talking about. 40s, 50s, y'all know what I'm talking about, you know. And, and even in your 30s, some of y'all in your 30s, you know what I'm talking about. Because you look at yourself and you see the change in yourself. And you may not really all the way like it, okay? But change is good and it's a part of life. You're going to age and it's just, it is what it is. But the beautiful thing is... The key is to age gracefully, okay? So remember, I told y'all, you age in your neck, you age in your eyes, you age in your lips, and you age in your hands, all right? And I got products for all of that, okay? And so as we continue to age, just keep in mind that you got to take care of your skin. So I'm excited about that. We're launching um, at the Awakening, at the Money Meeting. For those of you that have registered for the Money Meeting, 
Keep in mind that the money meeting is going to be incredible. It is going to be an opportunity for you to bring your business. What is your products? Okay, collaboration, again, is a new currency. So if you're not collaborating, you're really not penetrating the marketplaces like you should. Nowadays, most of you all who sell something to a client, your client wants more of other things. And so just imagine that same client buying three, four things from you, just not buying one thing from you. So that's just the thought process. And so absolutely, guys, I I love all my products, okay? I, I got so many products to sell, and that's why I will always be successful because I'm always finding ways to add value, okay? I detox every night, and baby, do I. I detox every night and I sell detox teas. I drink coffee every morning and I sell coffee. I take vitamins and I sell those vitamins. This is how I want you guys to start thinking like as an entrepreneur, as a business person, like how do I earn residual income in my sleep, okay? And that's what today's Wake Up and Win is going to be about. Today's Wake Up and Win is going to be about don't get attached to nothing that is not attached to you, okay? And there's so many things I'm talking about. Do not get attached to a job. It ain't attached to you. Do not get attached to a man or a woman that ain't attached to you. Do not get attached to an outcome or to a service or to an opportunity because it's not attached to you. So many people are walking around right now unhappy, depressed, uncertain, because they became attached to something that, that was never theirs to be attached to in the first place, okay? Many of you all have heard the saying before that things and situation and people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And that is absolutely true, okay? But I know that there's a lot of us that have heard that saying, but yet and still, we're depressed from somebody that left us five years ago. You've been out of that relationship for five years, and you're still depressed about that relationship from five years ago. When you got to understand what's yours would never leave you and what's yours would never be taken away, okay? If something belongs to you, it belongs to you. No ex, no hex, nobody can get in the way of what belongs to you. And the quicker you get to a place of being able to release what's not yours, release what doesn't want you, release what doesn't serve you, that's the quicker you're going to be able to be fulfilled to be able to move to that next journey, to that next job, to that next business, to that next relationship. But understand something that, that I want you guys to get clear on. A lot of people would think that, oh, it must not be meant because it's too complicated. Just because something is complicated doesn't mean that it's not meant. But what, what it can mean is that you need to go and evolve. You need to grow. You need to become in order for whatever that thing is that you desire. See, some of us want to be married or some of us want to be millionaires. But have you prepared to be a wife? Have you prepared yourself to be a husband? Have you prepared yourself to be a millionaire? What are the things you are doing besides just talking about wanting to be a wife? What are the things that you're doing to prepare yourself to be a husband? What are the things you are doing to prepare yourself to be a millionaire, okay? You can't just talk about something but not work towards the things that you are desiring. So I woke up, guys, last week. I'm just being honest with you. And, and I was thinking about, like, my kids, you know, and, and I was thinking about, like, the things that I've experienced with my kids. Like, you know, one thing about me, and, and, and this is a part of what my kids don't like, I'm very transparent. You know, I believe that if, if you're ashamed to talk about it, then don't do it. Let me repeat that. I believe that if you are ashamed to talk about something, if you are ashamed to be truthful about something, then don't do it. If you, if you can't tell somebody what you did, then don't do it. If, it, if it's embarrassing or if it makes you feel less than or if it affects your brand or it affects your ego, or if it affects your reputation publicly, then why would you do it privately? OK. And I was thinking like, man, never in a million years did I ever think me and the things that my children experienced. I never thought that we would have ever experienced these things. There are people, there are friends that I had in my life that I thought would be in my life until I die. Like I used to visualize us as old men and, you know, old ladies together. I used to visualize us traveling the world together. I used to, literally, Reggie could tell you, I used to tell him, man, I could see you as an old man living with me. We living in the same house together. Me and Reggie have been friends since the fifth grade. And so when I think about just some relationships, I want you to know that, that a lot of relationships can be very temporary, okay? And it's not a negative thing. It just means that that was that season. That was that season. That was that season for that which you got from that person and never get upset and never have regrets because the truth is whatever you experienced in that relationship, Rashina, you needed it. 
okay? And whatever that relationship did for you at the time, it was pertinent and it was needed at the time. Thank you so much for the badges. It was pertinent and it was needed at the time, okay? However, you got to learn how to live life with no regrets. Don't talk about the shoulda, woulda, couldas. Anything you do, learn to do it out of love. So therefore, if that season becomes over, if that relationship ends, you don't have any regrets because regrets can suppress you. Regrets is a very negative energy that you don't want to tap into. And when you get have a regretful soul, when you have a regretful energy, you know what happens? It makes you bitter. And when you're bitter, it shuts you down. It shuts you out from the things and the goodness that you are looking to attract. It shuts you down and it shuts you out from the things that you desire. And so whatever you may have experienced that felt like hurt, that felt like betrayal, you got to know that it was a part of your process. Think about some of the betrayal or the hurtful things that you experienced. That's where you really grew, right? The high cat, right, Sheila? You did not grow when everything was beautiful and when everything was just, you know, hunky dory. You grew through the pain. You grew from that person betraying you. You grew from that person that you thought would never. You ever share something with somebody and in a dark place? And you share something with somebody out of just transparency. And that person ends up doing the very thing that you once cried to that person about. And sometimes you think to yourself, wow, I remember crying to this person, telling this person about this experience. I remember when I used to tell this person about things that I used to experience with people. And then this person turned around and did that very same thing to me. And so the truth is, I've learned that. Everything that happens, it happens for you. Don't take on the victim mentality of it happening to you. Because when you take on that victim mentality, it does not elevate you. And the truth is, you should grow through everything that you go through. And so, here's what I learned to do. Number one, write this down. Number one, number one, number one. Take the whole situation, okay? Okay? And put that person's perspective Put your feet in those shoes, number one. Because a lot of times, a lot of times, we are getting offended by something that if we would have been the person that did that to a person, it would have bothered us too. And then some things we allow to bother us is because we're too emotional. That's why one of your greatest prayers should be, God, help me to manage my emotions. That's why one of the things you must learn how to do is how do I manage my emotions? How do I control my emotions? Do you know that 99% of the things that we do, we do it because of the feeling that that thing would give us? We're not caught up or thought, thoughtful of the logistics or logically because people are very emotionally charged. People are very emotionally driven. Things that people do, they do it because of what it feels like. They like the way it feels. Forget the logic. Forget the interpretation of, like, this is doing this and the cause and the effect. Forget all that goes out the door when it comes to your emotions. So, number one, put your shoe, the other person's shoe, on your foot. Number one. Number two, always look at what did you do in that situation. What, what did you do? Did you operate out of emotions? Did you, did, you, did you forget the principle of the thing? See, there's a lot of things that you got to look at the principles of it. Like the principle behind the experience. See, if you take out the emotion and put in the principle, you will realize that it wasn't the thing that bothered me. It was the principle of the thing that, that, that you did. It was, the, it was the, the, the lack of integrity of what you did. It was the, where's your principles? It was your lack of character. Of what you did it was your you have no humility so a lot of times people do things because they really have no humility they have no character think about some of the things that you experience i'm gonna try to think about this for a moment think about some of the things that you experience and ask yourself oh ye of little character yeah i know we heard oh ye of little faith but oh ye of little character it be the character it be the it be the principle and that's why I've learned a long time ago to practice the principles in order to be able to participate in the promise. But here's the beautiful thing, the third thing, the third thing. Ask yourself, what did I learn from that situation? And what did I learn not in terms of 
what did I learn to shut down? Not what did I learn in terms of I'm going to get bitter. No, but what did I learn so therefore I can get better? So when I see this again, I know how to properly handle myself. Because see, a lot of times we just shut down and then we become, you know, an introvert and, and we isolate ourselves and we no longer want to be with people and we no longer want to, we want to shut down because the truth is if a person got that close to you, to the point where you got attached, it's because you thought that you was able to. Right. You got comfortable. You thought that it was OK. You thought that, you know, it was not a bad thing if I got attached to this person because you felt like they was, you know, worthy of your connection. So what hurts the most is when you gave someone that trust, when you gave someone that love, when you gave someone the, the, the end in your life and then they did the opposite of what you anticipated them to do. And here's the reality, guys. Number four, hurt people, hurt people. A lot of people don't know what they don't know. They really don't even think they did nothing wrong because guess what? Everybody can find a justifiable reason why they have that stance or position on something. Everybody can find a justifiable reason. Everybody can understand. Everybody can identify with why they think they were right. But you know what I've learned, ladies and gentlemen? Go to the principle. When you're ever questioning something, right or wrong, Go to the principle, and in the principle, you will always find the answer. See, does it make me happier? Does it make me richer, Tammy? Does it bring me closer to God? See, your opinion and my opinion, see, everybody speaks from perspectives. Everybody speaks from perspective. I got a perspective on a lot of things. You got a perspective on a lot of things. But it's not the perspective that's it. It's not the perspective. It's the principle. Where is the principle? What is the law? What is the law that makes what you're doing okay? Let me give you a couple examples. You're in a relationship. And things are not going according to plan in that relationship. You know, you ever, you ever find yourself saying, he tricked me. She tricked me. You thought he was one thing. You, you, you know, she thought that, that you was one thing and, and y'all both thought each other was one thing. Because in the beginning, anybody could put up a facade. Anybody could pretend to be the sweet, loving, all that. But it takes time for you to really see who a person really is. And once you start to see who that person is, right, you now question everything. You're like, wait a minute. He used to do this and she used to do that. And then when it stops, it makes you wonder, okay, where else are you lying? Because that's what it really feels like. Where, where else are you lying? Where else are you playing? Where else did you manipulate me? And so now you tend to like not even want to be bothered with that person because you feel a little confused. Because you thought that they were one thing and there's something else. You done damn near fell in love. You done damn near, you know created this bond that you thought was everything and you done bragged and showboated this person around, y'all holding hands in the streets, y'all all this and that, and now it's like, I'm embarrassed. Now you're like, how do I wiggle myself out of the situation? Well, let me tell you what you gotta do. You gotta go back to the principle. You gotta, first of all, communicate. We have to learn how to communicate, Portia. We gotta learn how to clearly articulate when we don't like something. Ladies, let me tell you what we gotta stop doing. We got to stop saying, I ain't going to say nothing because I don't want to make him mad or I don't want to turn him off or I don't want to argue. No, 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 no. You need to address to that person what they have done. You need to address to that person how you feel because a lot of people don't realize what they have done. They don't realize how they have changed, but it's your responsibility to be adult-like and to have a conversation. This made me feel like this. That made me feel like that. And if you cannot communicate effectively without arguing, is it you that needs help with your communication? Because you get emotional and you raise your voice and you forget that when voices are raised and elevated, nobody's understanding. So so what is it? Is it, are you, are you ego driven? Are you really trying to solve the problem? So have a conversation. You ever, you ever, you ever started a business and your, your, your interpretation of this business was this, 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 this. You're going to run this business like this. You're going to do this like this. And then you realize that, wait, this business is not as simple as I thought it was. That don't mean it's not a good business. That means you got, you got work to do. 
You got to grow. You got to elevate. You got some self-correcting to do. It doesn't mean that the business is not good. That's not the idea of what you're supposed to take on. Oh, the business is not good. No, I don't do that. That means you probably wasn't ready. See, everybody want to be an entrepreneur. Everybody want to be an entrepreneur. But nobody wants to grow into what they have to grow into to be an entrepreneur. When you are an entrepreneur, you got a 24-7. You ain't got no 9 to 5 C on a job. You clock in and you clock out. You ain't even got to take the job home with you. But see, as an entrepreneur, you got to be customer service 24 hours. You got to have inventory. You got to have shipping. You got to have a great product. You got to have... Uh, a, a round the clock type of service because guess what? When you own your own business, you better understand that if they want to buy something and business hours is over, you better open up the damn doors. I'm not going to not sell something because it's the, the store closed. Not me, baby. The store open. That's why I love internet based business because while I'm asleep, click the link in my bio, baby. Buy whatever you want. The links, all my links is in my bio. Everything that I'm selling right now. Well, not everything, but for the most part, the things that I'm selling is in my link tree. Okay. So just know that when you are in a place of attachment, nobody should be able to, he that angers you controls you. Nobody, you should not be that attached to nobody that they control your energy, they control your emotions. And ladies, let me tell y'all something. If you're in a relationship with a man and you're not in a good mood until he texts you, if you're in a relationship with a man and his moods dictate your energy and your emotions, I don't know if, if that's that man's fault. I, I don't know if that's that man's fault. You should not be that attached to nobody that you don't feel good until they text you. You should not be that attached to nobody that you don't feel good if you don't know their whereabouts. See, some of y'all just want control. See, that desire to need control, or it could be an insecurity. It could be an insecurity. Are you insecure that when you don't know where your man at, if he ain't call you in three hours, you you what is it? What, what is it? So all of these things are important for us to know about ourselves. Because when you understand who you are, you get to navigate yourself better. You got to get to navigate. You get to navigate yourself better. So the reality is that when you know who you are, you know why you move the way you move. You get to effectively control your emotions even better. Because see, some people just really are control freaks. And you don't realize it. Here's another thing. That's why faith is needed. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You need faith to live. You don't know what the next step could be. We, we hope for the best. We want the best. But you just don't know what can happen next. And when you live in that state, you are grateful. And you, you, you move knowing that no matter what happens, Everything always works out for me. No matter what happens, no matter what a situation may look like, everything always works out for me. Everything always works out for me. No matter what, no matter what, if that relationship ended, y'all got to know God ain't never going to leave you if he's already been taking you somewhere. You be leaving. He ain't going to leave. and He's within you. If a relationship ended, it's because something better is coming. If that job ended, it's because something better is coming. If that friendship ended, it's because something better is coming. But you got to know this. You got to know this. You got to know that something better is on the way. But you also got to take into accountability what role did you play in your circumstances being what it is? See, everybody likes to fault other people. Nobody want to say it's my fault. Let me tell you something. It takes a real special person to say, damn, look at what I did. And it could be good. Look at this beautiful life that I created. Look at this beautiful life. Everything is so beautiful. Look at this. But then it also takes a very serious person. A very stand-up person look around and say, damn, look at what, what I did. Excuse my French. I, I messed up. I messed up. I shouldn't have did that. Look at what that decision has done for me. Thank you, Miss Spades. Look at what that decision has done for me. That one false move out of emotions, that one false move out of selfishness has taken you down a path that now 
You're trying to figure out how do I come back from it. Let me tell you what I learned about people. And I talked about this yesterday. People rather stay bitter, stay mad, than to accept when they're wrong and just say, I messed up. I apologize. People rather end the whole relationship with a good person than to stop and say, you know what? I was wrong and I apologize. Some people just need to say, you know what? I didn't even realize that. I didn't notice how I made you feel. You know, that wasn't my intent. But some people rather end the whole relationship than to say, you know what? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel that way. I'm sorry. That wasn't my intent. But see, that's why you got to know those who labor amongst you. You got to know those who labor amongst you. Because watch this. When you really have great energy and great people around you, we could communicate. Just because we have a bump in a road, just because we're riding over. I live in a beautiful community. I could be cruising. When I see a speed bump, I'm not upset at the speed bump. The speed bump means to slow down. The speed bump means to slow down. The stop sign means stop. You understand? The veer to the right means to veer to the right. What if you decided to do that in your relationships? We going through a speed bump. I'm just going to slow down. It's a stop sign right here. Let me stop arguing. Let me stop being confrontational. Let me stop being selfish. Let me stop acting like I'm such a damn victim. Let me stop acting like I'm such a victim. Let me stop. This relationship and this conversation ain't going good. Let me veer to the right a little bit. But I'm not going to end the whole good thing because I'm not seeing eye to eye with somebody. I'm not going to stop my good job because... I don't like the new the new uh uh supervisor. I'm not I'm not going I'm not going to quit and close down my whole business because business has slowed down. Y'all life is reason, season or lifetime. I can tell you right now some of the most successful people have come from going through challenges and they decided to slow down. They didn't, just because your car just because you got to slow down, that mean you cut the car off and just stop. It didn't say stop. It said slow down. Just because you're going over a speed bump, you're going to just cut the, car, hold up, cut the whole car off and stop because it says slow down. So some people just need to slow down. How can you pivot? What kind of pivot should I be making right now? Should I be going to the left right now? When it says go right, should I be going to the right when, I, when it says go left? The main thing that you got to know, though, is that at any given moment, Things are liable to change. It's just life. But what if the change is for the better, but you just don't know it yet? What if the pivot is serving you? What if this, what if this new direction is serving you, but you so attached to the old? Never get attached to nothing that's not attached to you. How many of y'all have had friends that, that till this very day, you really thought y'all was going to grow old together? And now y'all literally could walk past each other and won't even say hi. It's a part of life. But that's why I encourage you all today to just don't get attached. Enjoy. And, and it could sound so cold, y'all. I know it could sound so cold. It could sound so cold. It could sound so cold. That's why I've learned to move from a place of appreciation versus expectation. Because things, you just don't know when they could change. That's why you got to always be prepared. Stay ready. Hello, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. You got to learn to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. People could be very temporary. They could listen. Listen, y'all, I, I, I've been through my social media page, and some of y'all know I've been a victim of all type of stuff. All kind of stuff, child. And it's crazy. People will be like, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm going to be in your life forever, forever, forever. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, you changed my life. Oh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Oh, I thank God for you. Oh, I be praying for you. Oh, my God, thank you so much. I'm talking with big tears in their eyes. And that same person could use them same lips. Them same lips they used to praise you with. 
them same lips. They used to kiss you with, mm, I love you, you're so amazing. They use them same old lips that they once used to bless you with. And they use them same lips to curse you with. And there are some of you all that still hurt by those people that curse you with them lips. But what you got to know is, is in some of these people, it ain't on them. It's who they are. They've been at all along. They just was being what they needed to be because they are temporary. They came to get what they needed. But this is the beautiful thing. Be grateful for what you got. Don't always look at things as if it's a bad thing. What did you get? Just because it's over. Don't mean that you didn't get something from the relationship. It didn't mean that you didn't get something from the job. Don't play victim. Like, ain't nobody no victim. Because you got something out of the deal, too. Because guess what? You would have not allowed those persons. You would have not allowed that relationship. If you wasn't getting something out of the deal, too. So look at what were you getting out of the deal. And be grateful for whatever it is you got out of the deal. Whatever you got out of the deal, be grateful for it. But know when it's time to move forward. And at the end of the day, the quicker you're able to get rid of people, the quicker you're able to move forward, the better your life will be. I repeat, the quicker you are able to move forward, the quicker you are able to release yourself from things that no longer serve you. Where's Niles, Anthony? Tell him to let, let bees off the thing. That barking gets on my nerves. The quicker you're able to release yourself from things that no longer serve you, now, put, let him off that thing. That, that, that barking, I don't like him barking like that every second. It gets on my nerves. I got to clean Okay, yeah. All that barking. Yeah. yeah, the quicker you're able to release things, that's over. The quicker you're able to recognize that it's just, it's over with. Don't let nobody keep taking you back down that path. Don't let nobody keep making you, girl, what happened? Baby, why you, if we're not together no more, don't ask me what happened. If you know me and you're here for me, just be here for me and you do your part. Because most of us need to learn how to develop our gift of goodbye muscles. We got to learn how to develop that goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Because listen, people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And some people love you while you're doing what they want you to do. As long as you're doing what they want you to do, they love you. The minute you stop, they don't love you no more. And it just is what it is. Know the difference between friendship, associate, business, okay, family. And I'm going to be honest with you. Don't get attached to, listen, man, don't get attached to nothing that is not attached to you. Listen, I learned in this last season, your own kids, okay, believe you me. I never in a million years would have ever thought, ever, nobody could have ever told me, me and my kids, would go through what we went through and be going through what we still going through. Nobody. I may have not been perfect, but I'm a great ass mama. You understand me? I did my very best with my children. I never would have thought me and my kids would have went through what we went through and be going through what we going through. I never would have thought my kids would have allowed other people to influence them against their own mama. Never would have thought that. And my biggest lesson in life came from my children. You understand? My biggest lesson my kids changed my life. They made me realize, don't get attached to nothing that ain't attached to you. You understand? Unapologetically, I'm speaking in my truth. I always express myself truthfully and clearly. You understand? I never would have thought my kids never would have thought that. But you know what? They changed my life. Because if your own kids could do it to you, Nobody, nobody, nobody can be trusted, all right? So, y'all, we are four days away from the awakening. I hope this message gave you what you needed. Stay focused on the end result. Learn to see the end in the beginning. Learn to see the end in the beginning. Learn to understand that you are not temporary. You're here. You got to learn to love yourself how to embrace yourself, how to know yourself. Because people could take you to a limitation that make you unhappy, that make you just change who you are. Don't do it. That's why when you understand your threshold, 
and your limitations, you know when enough is enough. You know when enough is enough. Because if you allow someone to push you, guess what? You allow them to push you too far. Now, where do you go? So you got to know your threshold. You got to know your limitations. You got to know when enough is enough. So so you don't end up hurting yourself. So you got to have some self-preservation. You got to guard your heart too. I'm letting y'all know. You got to guard your heart. Because your heart is is where the issues of life flow from. My mom died from a broken heart. My stepmom died from a broken heart. My grandmother died from a broken heart. Do you understand what I'm telling y'all? Three women, three generations of women, my grandmother, my mom, my stepmother, all died from their heart being broken. Do you understand how deep that is? And for me to know that, that's why people can say what they want to say about me. I have developed... I had to develop the gift of goodbye. I had to. Because if I didn't say goodbye to you, I would have wanted to say goodbye to me. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. If I did not learn how to say goodbye to you, I would have wanted to say goodbye to me. And some there are people right now that are depressed, suicidal, because somebody said goodbye to them. And they should have just said peace. Don't let the 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 good the 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 dough hit you with a good lower split you, baby. Get out. Goodbye. Listen, your destiny is never tied to someone who wants to leave you. Oh, come on, Tammy. Girl, I already know. Your destination, your destiny is never tied to someone that wants to leave you. If that's the case, there's no need for faith. Because that means you trust in a man. See, that's the thing about me. I don't trust in humans. I ain't even going to hold you, y'all. I ain't going to hold you. I've had some women, some people come around. I'm talking about big crying, crying down. I'm talking about baby, all this. And it be all for temporary. So learn to develop the gift of goodbye. Because if you don't learn to say goodbye to them, you'll want to say goodbye to you. And then, did y'all hear Mary J. Blige's song? Wishing I was someone else. Uh-uh. Next, next time I'm going to be gentle with me. Next time I'm going to be careful with me. She said, why do I hate myself? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let them go. And if they want to go, wish them the best on the way out the door. Wish them the very best as they walk out. Don't wish bad on nobody. Wish them the very best and let them go. Let them go and pray that whatever you got from them, there was some reciprocity and they got something in return. Because again, if you let that person around you, there was something that you was getting from that person. Remember that. Let me repeat that. If you let that person around you, don't pretend. It was something that that person was giving you too. And whatever it was, it could be over. But don't be upset that it's over. Count it all joy and learn to move on. All right? And learn to move on and wish them well. Don't use your good energy to wish nobody evil. Because whatever you wish and send out to somebody else, it is being sent back to you. So don't wish nobody negative. Wish everybody well. Because you are an energetic being. What you give off is coming back. Trust me. If you want to know why people's skin look crazy, why people really you can see their evilness in their eyes, why people are depressed and unhappy, is because they give that off, Charlene. And what they give off, it comes back to them. That's why you got to be careful with people that just have just consecutive losses. Consecutive losses. Consecutive losses. It's a part of who they are. I'm just being honest. You are a magnet attracting to you what you think about, you bring about. Where focus goes, energy flows. So if you want to know why people, nothing works out for them, because who are they intrinsically? All right? So listen, y'all. We got the awakening. We are four days away. We got five days of just heat. We got the money meeting happening on Thursday. Y'all, I'm excited to be launching my purchase form lip collection. Full of beautiful, natural, youthful colors. 
My favorite color, y'all, I already told y'all, is Reminisce. I love it. Awakening my youthful feminine energy, honey. I absolutely love it. All right. Everything is about helping women to stay youthful and feminine in their energy. And then I'm going to show women how they're going to get an extra. Listen, I want to show people. Sorry, women. I love the men. But I want to show women how to really tap in and get, you know, to the money. You cannot be at peace in all things when you broke. And I believe that when you empower the woman, the woman can change the whole world. So this next season is about economic elevation everywhere. It's about how do I become better? How do I look better? When I look better, I feel better. When I feel better, I get better. So we're about to tap into another level financially. Just know that everything big was once small. I started off selling small things. And them small things turned me into the million-dollar hustler, baby. Ain't nobody can hustle like Coach Stormy. And nothing going to stop me from doing what I know I need to do. I'm always, 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 what's up, Melo? I'm always evolving, always setting new standards. As a matter of fact, y'all, let's speak these affirmations and we done. Listen, if you have not yet gotten your ticket for The Awakening, go to the link in my bio. You can get a virtual ticket. I believe that we got some more in the room tickets that opened up because some people was not able to come. They had to cancel. But go to the link in my bio and get your ticket. If you know you need a new environment, if you know that somewhere in your life you're not really showing up 100% as who you are, you need to be at the awakening. You need the connections. You need the revelations. You need to get to know yourself again. You need what's in the room. Believe me, your life will never be the same. I want to say drop some fire right now for all of you all that's coming this weekend and you're excited like me. Drop some fire if you are ready for the finale of this awakening i'm ready guys if you have not gotten a virtual ticket you can get a virtual ticket right now go to www.stormynewrules.com forward slash 2022 and right now i just want to say congratulations okay pamela has gotten her ticket for the awakening virtual barbara yakshika shonique daniel thais kiva all right y'all y'all ain't playing michelle Tashina, Janelle, Dominique, Sheila, okay, 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 Kirsten, Pamela, Sandy, Eugene, Michelle just got their ticket for the virtual awakening, and it's actually a bundle, y'all, right now for $97. If you have not yet gotten your bundle deal, go ahead and get your bundle deal. If you have not gotten your gear, y'all, go get your gear. All day Thursday, it's all about money. We start at 7 o'clock, actually, but I want y'all starting to think, think money, think money, think money, think money, think new money, think new money. StormyNewRules.com forward slash new money. Think about new money. Think about how you are going to create a new future. The only way to predict the future is to create it. You are going to create a new future. It's time to reinvent yourself, and it starts with your mind. Change your mind, you change your money. Virtual seats are available right now. Get the whole bundle, stormynewrules.com forward slash 2022. And then the virtual um, money meeting, stormynewrules.com forward slash new money, okay? Girl, hold my hand. T-shirts is what we're going to be wearing during the day, Saturday and Sunday. And then we're getting dressed up that night. I want y'all to feel like royalty. I want y'all to feel like, man, this is how I want to live. I want to live this beautiful life. I want to live a life where I'm treated like a queen. I want to live a life where I have five-star dining and I only go to, you know, five-star restaurants. No more cheap shit, all right? All queen stuff. All tapping into who you see yourself. Remember, manifestation is demonstration. Acting like you already got the thing that you want now, all right? So let's speak these affirmations, y'all, and let's go throughout our day with our head held high, knowing that if it's meant to be, it's up to me. Nobody can create the life that I desire. Everyone who bought their, their ticket, you got to email, check your spam. You can print books. Everybody's printing their books already. Go to your emails. Go to your spams. All of the manuals have been emailed out. We're emailing out every day as you purchase new manuals. Go to your spam and print out your manual so that you can have your manual. This event is not an event without your manual. It is not an experience without your, your manual. If you do not have a manual, you will not have an experience, okay? So please check your spam. Don't just sit there and don't have a manual, okay? Print your manual, all right? Because you are going to need it because the manual is going to help you to design your life and be a blueprint for you to know who you are every day. All right, so good, Shonda. I'm glad you printed your manual. All right, so let's get it, y'all. I will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit within. 
I will lead and not follow. I will create and not destroy. I am a force for good. I defy the odds. I set new standards. I am a leader. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I am loved by God. I am chosen by God. I am protected by God. No weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. No weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment shall be condemned. It's my season. It's my turn. It's my season. It's my turn. Come on. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I'm humble. I'm wealthy. I'm strong. I am a champion. I will win. I am a champion. I will win. I will never be broke another day in my life. Come on, y'all. Speak it and know it. That's why you got to make bright decisions. I will never be broke another day in my life. And I will live the fullness of life and all God has for me. Listen, y'all, get up and make it happen for yourself. You are not a victim. Who cares? Listen, do not get attached to nothing that ain't attached to you. Wake up. Handle your business. It's a new day. Take charge. Take control and move into the better days of where you see yourself. Whatever was, was. And remember, if you learn to release things that's no longer yours, your life will open up and you'll see the fruits so much faster than what you've been looking at, guys. The reason why the fruits ain't bearing is because you are allowing people, fear, doubt, relationships to suppress you. No, no more suppression for waking up every day deciding that my life example is going to be an example for the culture. People are going to be able to look at me and know, wait a minute, if I can do it, then they can do it as well, all right? So, happy new day. Happy March 14th, y'all. We are four days away. I can't wait to see you at the finale of the awakening. Listen, who working out this morning? Take your Nutriburst. Take your NRG. Take your Slim AM. Take your fight. Take your life drops. Put on your workout SW Active Gear. And let's go out. And let's make today a great day. It's nothing like physical match. When you master the physical, everything else... Is a walk in the park. All right. I love you guys. Have a great day. And I see y'all in four days at the Women's Awakening Winning Weekend. All right. Peace out, everybody.